Hey, welcome back to the Guillemot Kayaks Workshop. I'm Nick Shada. I'm sorry it's been so long since I've posted a video. I've just been really busy. I was making a petrol for a customer and the production of these videos takes a lot of time and I needed to concentrate on getting the boat done for the customer. So I've got a lot of footage in the can waiting to be edited, but I just haven't gotten around to editing that down. Um, hopefully we'll have a series coming up sometime soon on the building of the petrol. It's a strip built petrol, it came out really nice and I'd like to share it with you. But for now I'm going to go to the wooden boat show next weekend and I'm going to be supporting Chesapeake Lightcraft and doing demonstrations. And so as part of that demonstration I'm going to be working on stripping up a nymph canoe. In preparation for that I've got the forms already, I've got a strong back, I need to make a set of stems. So I make the stems by laminating up different pieces of wood. I have a stack here of western red cedar and a stack of mahogany left over from a previous project. These are two inches wide, both of them. I need to make uh, a pair of three quarter inch wide stems. And so this will be the inner stem, this will be the outer stem, and they'll get laminated together, bent around a set of forms. Um, but I will not glue the inner stem to the outer stem. When it's all glued up and bent, then I'll saw it in half and uh, plane it down to the three quarter inch width that I need. So for this process, I've sanded these strips down to something I think will make the uh, bend radius. We'll see. Um, if they all end up breaking, then I know I'll need to make them thinner next time. It's a fairly tight turn on these forms, so um, we'll see how it goes. What I want to do is glue these together. I'm going to use regular tight bond original, so a non-waterproof glue. These will all be under a layer of fiberglass when they're done, so I don't need to go for a waterproof glue. So let's get right to it. First thing I'm going to do is just put a layer of tape on the strips that constitute the separation between the inner and the outer stems. This will just make it so the pieces don't get glued together. I'm using a fiber reinforced strapping tape here because it will end up helping give a little bit of compression to these strips as I bend them around. So they're going to be bent this way and this will help reinforce that grain on the outer radius of the bend. So that's the inner stem stack. So I have this whole stack and just to help keep things under control, I'm going to wrap it with stretch wrap. This also makes it a little bit less drippy. Now I'm going to take this whole stack, starting from here, bend it around there. I'm 
I've got these uh, end forms just screwed to my strong back here just as a secure place to hold it and now we will try this bend see what happens take it easy These are just to get the laminations lined up with each other. Okay, now we just let it dry. Because it's wrapped in the stretch wrap, the squeeze out here won't dry right away. Um, it can actually take quite a while under the plastic wrap for the squeeze out to dry but the glue in between the laminations will dry out because the, the wood will absorb the moisture. What I will do in a little while is just make some slits in the plastic here to let uh, some of that squeeze out drain out and that will let it dry more successfully. So that's all there is to it to make that bend. You see We've got over an inch and a half of wood here, but none of the laminations are more than an eighth of an inch thick. Um, and each individual lamination can make the bend, therefore the whole stack can make the bend. So I'll just make some slits in the plastic to let that squeeze out, get some air to it. So I let the glue dry a couple hours and now I'm pulling it off the forms. Get a little bit of spring back, but that's okay. Now I'll just peel off the plastic. Just let that uh, squeeze out dry for a little while. Let's see. Let me see it's springing apart there. Jump the gun a little bit, unclamping it. It's a humid day. here for a little while longer.
So here is a pair of finished stems. So we have two sets, since it's a symmetrical boat, the nymph is a symmetrical boat, fore and aft. The bow stems are the same as the stern stems. And so the western red cedar is the inner stem, and here's the ma mahogany outer stem. And as you see, it's a perfect fit between the two because they were made together. So in this case, I'm actually filming this a week or two after the wooden boat show, so I've done my demo, and I had beveled this inner stem down to a quarter inch thick on the leading edge, and so a strip lay flush against that. So we see here it's a little bit chewed up where I glued some strips in place there, and then just I peeled it apart. But you'll see that will fit perfectly back together again because they were made together. So it would just be a matter when it comes time to install this outer stem that I trim back the strips that are overhanging the inner stem without cutting into this outer face of the inner stem. And in that case, this should be a perfect fit going right back into place there. So that's a quick overview of how I laminate the inner and outer stems for a canoe like the Nymph. This, uh, the Mystic River Tandem, exact same process, just a different set of forms, um, but there you go.